is President Trump's uh, personal attorney, former New York City mayor, Rudy Giuliani. Uh, let me start with Mueller. How, how has this case impacted? Because Strzok is at the heart of all of it. He claims. Well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's played a much bigger role in this than, than a lot of the media wants to admit. I mean, first of all, he was there at the very beginning. He uh, wrote all the initial documents uh, justifying this investigation. He ran it for 11 months. He conducted the critical interview of Flynn with the very strange situation where Flynn pled guilty to a, to a lie that the FBI said he, didn't, he, didn't, he wasn't guilty of. Go figure that out. Uh, he's the one who, who um, uh, was carrying the dossier and using the dossier to justify the FISA wires. That has to be all unraveled. There, there, there's no doubt that there's, there are four false affidavits filed with the FISA court. Fraud. Fraud. Lying in an affidavit to the FISA court. Uh, the guy responsible for those was largely struck. He gathered the evidence, non-evidence. The dossier is absurd. I, it's I've a read, political document bought It's and paid totally for. ridiculous. It says, Russian document. It says provably false things, like Cohen was in Prague. He wasn't in Prague. It says that uh, there were real estate deals with the Russians. There were no real estate deals with the Russians. Uh, it has uh, Trump. The hookers in, in the bed was my. Yeah, yeah. He, he was with. I mean, he's, they have evidence he was. He was with hookers in a bed. Debunked. Yeah, debunked. Completely debunked. Got the dates all wrong. It's it's a it's a, uh, a cut and paste job by a down and out ex. Uh, spy, English spy, who hated Trump and, hated. and was paid but they, by but Hillary they, Clinton and the DNC. But they spread <laughs> this information, Mr. Mayor, the to lie to the American people, too, and lie to the court. And, 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 and uh, the, the Justice Department, the Trump Justice Department, is hiding those affidavits on the grounds that the affidavits contain national security information. Well, my goodness, here are the things we need to know about it. Was the fact that Hillary Clinton and the DNC, the, the, the people who paid for this, was that pointed out to the judge? Right. Because if it wasn't, you got a glaring omission. Uh, was it pointed out that Steele, during the course of this, was fired by the FBI? What were his um, problems in his background exposed to the judge? I mean, when you present this guy, was he presented as a fully reliable informant, or were the questions... You have to do that in an affidavit. I wrote many of these they affidavits. They never told the court in these applications that Hillary paid for it. They purposely withheld that information. Well, that would have been, that would have been, that would have been a non-starter. But they never verified any of the information so, in there so anyway. So here's the point. Uh, Strzok created a false document. When we say, is there any evidence that his bias led to action that he took against Trump? Yeah. He perjured himself in an affidavit in order to start his insurance policy investigation. They were hoping they could do something with that before the election. But they, they ran into the same problem Mueller runs into. Presidents do anything wrong. They, can't, they, they couldn't find any evidence. They struck out. On, the, on a couple of days before he was, he was inaugurated, uh, they had to proclaim there was no evidence of, of collusion, which is not a crime anyway. Is there any update since you were on with us last, and that is that you responded to Mueller in terms of any potential that there'll be a discussion with the president? No, they think they have all the time in the world, I guess. I don't know. They, they haven't you responded. Said it should be over by September. Well, I think that we are, uh, we are running into a real big problem for them. If they try to drag this thing much into September, you've got a, a very clear violation of the Justice Department policy not to interfere with elections. Comey was just excoriated by that, for that by Horowitz. It'll just be another list of their irregularities, their unethical performance, their unwillingness to follow sensible rules. They could have done this. We could have concluded this, this, this interview thing two months ago and decided yes or no on it. And their, their report could be done by now. They're, 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 uh, it looks like they're slowing, the, they're slowing down. You know, they're, they're, they're running out the clock. The media would look at the 2005 tax case that has nothing to do with Russia, nothing to do with the campaign, nothing to do with the president. Manafort tax case from 2005 is the trial of the century. Okay, that case, <laughs> well, that's really how they're portraying it. And, but more seriously, when we talk about Strzok and Comey and McCabe and, and Page and, and all these other people in the FBI and the DOJ at the highest levels, do you see crimes? Oh, absolutely. I just told you one. The, the perj perjury on the uh, affidavit. I was telling you about Hillary crimes ten, uh, a year before Comey outlined them all. I'm pretty good how at picking out off, crime. How did she get off scot-free in all this? Uh, she got off because it was a fixed investigation, a totally phony fixed investigation. And she still be indicted? Run by Peter Strzok, <laughs> who then turns around. Uh, the do dossier is, 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 is obtained on the day that they dropped the case against Trump.
the, uh, against Hillary. So that case gets dropped, and they have to even up the score the next day. and go after Trump the next day. Now, the reality is, I'm going to tell you, and we don't have the time to go into, into it, we can do it later. I'm going to tell you who orchestrated with the quarterback for all this. He isn't just struck. He's a bit of a puppet. Then there's Mueller. He's a puppet. People working for him are, some of them are really... I have a funny feel you're about bit. to drop a bomb on me. Go well, ahead. Well, the guy running it is Brennan. And he should be in front of a grand jury. Is Brennan. Brennan, Be Brennan former CIA director. Brennan took a, an affidavit, a, 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 a dossier, that if, he unless, to Harry unless he's the biggest idiot a, intelligence agent that ever existed, although he never really did much intelligence work, it's false. You can look at it and laugh at it. He, and he peddled it to Harry Reid. Uh, that, that led to the request for the investigation. So he takes a false affidavit a false dossier, he gets the senators involved, and a couple of Republican senators, and they demand an investigation, a totally phony investigation. Now, why can't we get an investigation when there are clear facts showing possible violations of the law? Even in the... Even, why can't we? Even in the, even in the order appointing Mueller, which is completely illegitimate, they don't point out any crime. You have to point out a crime under the independent counsel uh, regulations. They don't point it out. We have lots of crimes, and we can't get, we can't get uh, Sessions to move and appoint an independent counsel. He's, he's look, I, I, he's recused from it. He's recused from everything. And uh, Rosenstein is too much involved in it, and they're possible witnesses. By the way, Rosenstein signed the last FISA warrant. Well, that's why he's a possible witness and, and possible anything else. Mr. Mayor, great to okay. see you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Independent counsel to investigate the investigators.